Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, welcome to Christmas. Oh, oh, I said welcome to Christmas again. Christmas all year. I make Christmas decorations and Christmas cookies and Christmas parties all year round and I'm making six figures and also I decorate Christmas windows. <laughs> Welcome to Moving Bitches. First, a shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink, making the holidays go round. Go to trywink.com slash moving bitches and get $22 off your first month of wine. Welcome to part three of our shitty Christmas movies marathon, where we talk about the creation of this movie. I've got. So, it's time to talk about a trilogy is ending, the conclusion that was clearly thought out throughout the entire plot. So, not Star Wars. I've been watching you guys' channel for a good couple of years I'd like to think I have a fairly like amateur idea of how to judge a film I'm going to save you any trouble about the new Star Wars film do not go to see it do not go to see it it's the biggest trilogy event of this Christmas it's a Christmas, Christmas prince, prince the royal, royal baby. baby the royal baby the royal oh it's the royal baby yeah it's not a royal baby no it's the, the. there's only one and it's this one are we sure that this is the end is it a trilogy or are they just oh, going to keep doing them they can't these actors have to be like, no, fuck you. I mean, are Leave they? Me They're never going to say that. They're going to be like, yes, please keep paying me. Ugh. I, they were, I think they were listed as executive producers oh at this point, too. Oh, my God. They're cashing in on that Netflix money. Oh, but they're so bad. They're terrible. They're really bad. I, they're, the, I, that's what's really crazy about these movies to me is that more than anything, the actors are the worst part. No. They're contributing factors, but I would not say they're the worst part. I mean, the writing's awful too, but like, I think honestly for me, the- All of it, the whole combination it's, ooh, it's, of it, it's, it's really bad. bad. I really dislike them. Yeah. You should watch our viewing party, it was silly. I mean, it's a lot of screaming. It's a lot of like, what? That doesn't make any sense. They're not wearing gloves that's 500 years old. I mean, I really appreciate, I, it, I'm gonna treasure that moment forever. Okay, so thank you. it really upset me. I know. This it's 600 years this. old. You can't just be treating it like this. What's the use? Like Everyone except the father out. And the treaty out. Right. Yeah, don't get the, the <gasps> scent on awesome. that treaty. So, Christmas <laughs> Prince, the royal baby. It's been a year. She's writing her blog about Aldovian... The past year? Oh, they're doing... They're making new waves of... Feminism and social justice and politics or whatever. I, I, it was, I don't know, something about they're, they're making money again. I don't know. They're paying back that $4, four billion, billion dollar debt. Is this an assessment of Aldovia's debt to Penglia? A billion euros. That sounds correct. But a year ago it was five billion. With our booming economy, it should be wiped out by spring. To Palvrovia. I don't know. What was the other place called? Penglia. It was not that. Huh? I feel like it's over the pee. It did start with the pee. Penglia. They're all hanging out at the palace. She's mostly pregnant. Yep. Simon's back. He's not gay. In fact, he's dating oh, yeah. her friend. Yeah. Which was a real shocker. I mean, I love that our alternative fanfic. Yeah. I had just remembered as actual. Yeah, fact. we were like, wait, no, he is gay. I, I like, thought he no, was gay. No, they never. We just talked about it so much. <laughs> Just makes sense. Yeah, it just makes sense. And then he's gonna fall in love with the brother of the, uh, the knight Pal from a night Pal before Dovia. Penglia. Oh no no no! Penglia. I meant it the night before Christmas. The oh, brother who yes. has the red amulet yes. and comes to the future uh -huh, uh -huh. for Old Holy Night. Yes. Their yes crossover event. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But I don't really want this actor to be in more of these. No. I mean, I guess he's kind of more fun than others. I mean, Simon's not the worst part of the series. These movies are so cheap. Yes. So they're... they're they aren't cheap, they're lazy. Well, so this one was very much... The whole thing felt like, we can't pay for extras. We don't... Like, we're going to lock them in a Snowden castle and FaceTime in any actors yep. who couldn't be here. Yep. Like, they FaceTime with the dad. Yep. And the weird thing where they're both... The prince and the dad are wearing the same shirt. <gasps> and it's buttoned... They're both buttoned up to the very tippy top. And they were the same color. I thought yeah. that was weird. It was really weird. <laughs> Pretty early on, we flash back to 1419. Oh, yeah. To the signing of the treaty between Aldovia and Palarovia. 
Penglia. I should have written it down. I, who cares? It doesn't matter. It was so silly. I mean, this is the silliest this part. Is, I, I guess this is where they spent their money. I get, what the C the five seconds of CGI like battlefield, and then they're like, oh, and then they signed a treaty. And every year Atreus? since a treaty. A treaty. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I drink this one all by myself. A treaty. They've been signing it ever since every hundred years. They roll out a real long scroll. Oh boy. With thick, thick needles oh my God. of string. And then every hundred years, whoever has the treaty, the other people come and they all sign the treaty. And then the people who came take the treaty and then they keep it for a hundred years. A hundred years is a sure. long time. Sure. To just be like, treaty, peace. This is a generation. Well, sure. I mean, it's it's at least one, if not two. Right. This is what I don't understand with these movies. There's so much lore. Yeah. And seemingly details and yep. like things thought through about Aldovia. Kind of. But also nothing. Nothing. Nonsense. Who cares? It, it's well, like as if I really wanted to know about Aldovian. I don't care. Well, that's why. Okay. I mean, it, make all... it a fun, silly rom com in yeah. the castle and yeah. whatever is yeah. happening and. In all honesty, I think the only way that I can enjoy these movies mm. is if I'm looking at them as documentaries uh -huh. from the imagined world uh -huh. of uh -huh. The Night Before Christmas. Or Princess Switch. Or Princess Switch, both of them together, where like in that Netflix Christmas universe, mm -hmm. this story is like a CNN piece where right. they're like, and now we're telling the story of the rich history of Aldovia and how this Prince young woman from New York that married the blogger from Brooklyn. Yeah. And now they're having a royal baby. Otherwise, I also think they're still really writing on the coattails of um, Harry royal and Meghan. Wedding. Yeah. It's really. It's. It, I mean, it's a little transparent. Yeah. Right, because the people from Palrovia. Penglia. It was something else. It was definitely something else. Uh, show up, and she's trying to convince the queen of that place that the queen should sign this 600 year Right, because the queen's really the one running the shots anyway. Anyway, they roll out this fucking scroll for them all to look at, and they touch it all with no gloves on. Oh, look at that! And um, they didn't even like wash their hands. I mean, it's 600. <laughs> Like hundred years old. I mean, I just I don't like these movies. No, They're in their bedroom. Every room has a Christmas tree. Every room has holly leaves. And now I have a question. Uh huh. I mean, you can't answer it, but she was wearing silk pajamas with nylons under them. Oh, that's right. That so slippery. <laughs> you just fall off that chair. And just woo. I mean, really, honestly. Ah. Oh. These movies are always full of like weird things. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yes. Like last time when it was like and then there was a Christmas turtle. Remember that was like like at the play? <laughs> oh like, yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Well there's weird choices like the king from the other place is walking and he's got this pea coat that has <gasps> That's mixed right. match buttons on it. <laughs> but like not in a like, it was like, these two are this, and these two are totally different, but then those two match the top two, and it was just like, what are we doing? Like, stuff like that drives me crazy. <laughs> Someone made that choice. I don't know. I know you're probably expecting us to talk about the plot, but... I mean, who cares? I really... <laughs> I really didn't understand this pick up. We were even talking about the ghost. I mean, there's a fucking ghost. Is there? But the peacoat was more upsetting. The so, treaty goes missing. Right, the treaty goes missing, and then of course they have to find it because otherwise the, the baby will be crushed. It's a curse on your firstborn. On this baby. Our baby. We are going to be cursed by a beshrew. A <laughs> Seriously? A curse? Concocted by a sorceress to ensure the treaty wasn't broken. Old crone. Begging your pardon, lady. Old crone! <laughs> old crone! <laughs> now, if the old crone had shown up. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> crossover. I'm waiting for the crossover. Give me a Netflix Christmas universe. I'm here for it. I'm honestly, I don't care. Because then they look at the treaty, they put it away, they seal right. it, right. and the, the next morning there's a big storm. It's oh, snowed right. in. Oh, right. Big storm. There's no snow. <laughs> There's no snow. Go to town and there. <laughs> the ground is literally none of it covered in snow. 
Like, come on. <laughs> Oh so anyway, it's a freak snowstorm. Oh yeah. my god! The tree's been missing, and right. so it must be someone that was locked in the castle because right. nobody of went in no or, out. or out. So we know our list of suspects. Uh, it's knives out. Yeah. If only though. If only though. Turns out, in the fine print of the treaty, if the oh, right. treaty isn't signed by midnight on Christmas Eve, uh huh. Of course. Of course. Then the firstborn child of the people who broke the treaties. Baby will be cursed. cursed by a beshrew. And they will have declared war. Oh, yeah, that too. On the other country. It seems like just a hundred years is like a big gap to. To work not out be these able problems. to declare war and also then to only be able to. You can only declare. I, I don't know, it's confusing. If we don't sign the treaty by Christmas Eve, there will be a curse on the firstborn child. That's Amber and Richard's baby. Either way, it didn't seem like any of them wanted to declare war, but then there's this whole plot of like, oh, well, they're trying to frame us so that they can declare war oh, because well, where there's a debt. Well, or Simon and assistant woman of the people from the other place are yeah. doing machinations behind the scenes. Oh, right. It turns out they were just working on an engagement ring. No, well that, but they were working on like the budget. Oh, right. Oh, we the... were trying to figure out a way to, to make more money together as partners of trade. I, who, who cares? Who? What? Uh, I mean, when? At uh, whom? Uh, I'm sorry, who? <laughs> Ever was like, you know what I really want more of in my Christmas movies? Trade conversations you know and politics it of global- It was like global... real prequel -y. Oh, it was. A vote of oh, no confidence. confidence in Chancellor of Valorum. You know, it was it was very that where I'm like, I don't care about this. No. What's this? Yeah. No. Nonsense. But yeah, that bury that. Anyway, yes, yeah, so you're like, well, oh god, so they're trying to start a war, but why? They don't seem to really know what's up. The the king is like fucking idiot. He just plays piano. And I mean, yeah, he bought that pea coat. No. Oh. Yeah, the, the two kings can't even put together like an Ikea royal crown. Oh god, this was this was enraging for me. Where it's just like, why are we doing this? This is nonsense. Where it's like, oh, they're the royal, you know, they're, they're kings. They're literally the kings of their two respective fake countries. But it wasn't even necessarily making the joke of like, they've never done anything for themselves. No, it was like, oh, it's so complicated. This book, the instruction oh, book, they just, this like, Bible. They just put like a, a piece of Xeroxed paper over like an Encyclopedia Britannica. It's like... It's the A volume, it's long. You know, it was like one of those. I was like, what the fuck is happening? No. No one gets a hardback copy of a manual. What are we doing? Nonsense. Oh, and the queen from the other place and someone else both have these. Oh, and both queens. Oh, both queens. They both queens. have these muffs that look like really bad wigs. Yeah. But they're like, <laughs> muffs. Yeah. But they like are just close enough to their own hair color that you're like, you know, like exactly. Dillard, like, yeah. Ripped Taylor, Ripped Taylor, Ripped Taylor. 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 Uh, it's like their finger in a socket, or who it does look like yeah, you know. Yeah. So then they go back, and they still can't find the treaty. No, they play a weird Christmas game of like going up the tree. I didn't care. Who cares? The mushroom. No! Look, hunchback fairy, I'm sorry. Are you afraid? Well, I've never been pushed into an oven. It's the first time I've sat on a shovel. The flat part, anyway. <laughs> and uh, and then like the ghost in the attic, and so then they go no, uh, in the, the, the basement, dungeon, the dungeon. The dungeon. The dungeon. So she goes into early labor, of course, on Christmas Eve. Of course. The doctor, who they've been Skyping the whole time, drives into a... Because <laughs> <laughs> that owl. dungeon to unlock the mystery of Leopold the ghost who right. lives in the dungeon and and it seals the treaty every hundred years Leopold the ghost is oh is fake first the was he 
Well, yeah, that was the whole thing. Ultimately, was it really? yes, ultimately, it turns out that Leopold the ghost was made up by the. It was you, Mr. Little! <laughs> I forgot about that! I know it was you, Mr. Little. I forgot! I knew because I saw the family trees and the. Your last name and the. Because she's an investigative journalist first, and yes. queen second. second. Oh, wait, I don't know. So Mr. Little apparently made up the ghost thing to try and keep the little sister from going into the dungeon. So she wouldn't find, find the, treaty. the treaty that was being he hidden there. He stole it because his great 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 whoever. Yep. Got wronged by uh, the. Maybe and murdered. So it was his. It, he, he had, had to, to cross revenge. to there because it was. I, and it wasn't. <laughs> No. Locked in a cell somehow. That's why I was like, was there a ghost? Uh, no, I think it was like a draft. It was nonsense. But also I was like, well, you don't both go into this prison cell. Well, if she uses her crutches to, oh my God, to, to get the key. To Pirates of the Caribbean if she, if she hadn't like fallen onto that, like it was inside a stone. Yeah, she like fell back. Oh, oh, oh. And then it, it, nonsense. Yeah, but they get the treaty back and they sign it quickly before midnight. This ancient treaty. Before she can. No gloves. Oh no, I mean they're signing it right on her bed. I mean there could be placenta and you know, <laughs> her water obviously broke. I mean, you know. Sure, there could be. They were keeping it in like a locked case. The I know, proof. I know. Anyway, they sign it before midnight, yep. before she has the baby, so the Bershrew can't get to the baby. Exactly. And then it's born, and they name it Ellery. Oh right, and we were both waiting for it to be Noel. Christmas baby. Because they got married on Christmas. Their baby was miraculously born on Christmas early. They met, met on Christmas. Christmas. It seems like Christmas is a pretty big part of the Christmas prince. Well, and I didn't, I mean, obviously they mentioned it, that her mother's name was Ellery at some oh, point. But who like, cares? I, well, I just like, it was not a thing I remembered in any way. No. But I mean, there's a ghost down in the dungeon. Sorcery was discredited oh, years ago. Years ago. <laughs> My baby is cursed. I told you not to worry, Amber, with that nonsense. But what if it's true? Sorcery was discredited a long time ago. Years ago. Uh, oh, boy. boy. <laughs> um, this was bad. It was um, garbage. I only watched it for you. Yep. And I'm happy if they end it here. I really hope they do. I mean, what could be next? I, if you can't think of something, queen, they certainly can. Queen for Christmas. He dies and she takes over, and, and it's a real feminist story. Oh my god. Now, I, <laughs> so quick commercial break, and we'll be back with a lot more Christmas movies. So, we did a few more viewing parties, one of which was for a movie called Snowman's. Oh boy. So this is not a new movie, just no. to be forewarned. This is not actually a 2019 movie. No. Gabriel found this, and we got really excited. After we filmed last year, she was like, oh my god, we missed one. It's called Snowman's. There's a snowman. A lonely girl without a boyfriend makes a, a Christmas wish and a snowman becomes her dream boat. And I was like, well, this, is, this can't, can't lose. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, it's I mean, called Snowman's. Yeah. It's already done. Yep. So I'm like, here for it. Fully. It was fine. Fine. I was kind of sad. I wanted I was, it to I was, be like real stupid. I thought it was going to get cray cray and it didn't. Yeah. It was just kind of whatever. Well, it started good. It did. It started almost like a real movie. Uh huh. Right? Yeah, there's this little girl. I mean, she's... she was talking to a snowman that she then made out with. Well, but but you like, know what? it was in D. It was like, whoa. Well. What are you doing? And then she gets made fun of by the. Like, she's like, oh, Jimmy Jr. or whatever the fuck his name was. It's good to see Anthony Michael Hall working again. And I was like, oh my god, is this like Drop Dead Fred? Is it gonna be like her imaginary snowman friend that like 18 oh, years later comes up I and is like, wish. oh, hi, like it's me, you know, Cole the snowman, kind of, but not quite. Well, so it montages through the opening credits of she's growing up and every year her, her and her best friend, who's a guy. Her gay best friend? It seems. It seems, turns out it's not true. Not true. Make a snowman every year of her perfect guy, and he's yes. gonna have all of these, these qualities, qualities. And they change as she grows up. And sure. like, she goes through a goth period. Yep. And like, they did a good job of yeah. that. Like, and oh, they're different growing. Styles. Oh, it's the 90s. Oh, oh, it's, he's yeah. got the skinny glasses yeah. and the frosted tip. Like, yeah. it's the 90s. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, 
yes. The young children had far more chemistry yeah. than the adults. Yeah. I mean, not in like a weird way, but just No, no, like, no, just like they were better. They were better actors. So then present day, she's got perfectly curled ringlets throughout the entire film. Yeah. And she's a journalist. She is. And wants to branch out and be a travel, travel. Journalist. Because she's never left Minneapolis, St. Paul, right. those Sin Cities. That Sin Cities. Well, that filth is better left to the Sin Cities. AKA Minneapolis, St. Paul. Oh, because we did. Oh, her editor. With the real. <laughs> with the real Minnesota accent. Real Minnesota accent. Frankly, Twin Cities life wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you. Wait, you're not cheerfully firing me, are you? Oh, my gosh. No, no. I'm so sorry. It was <laughs> aggressive. It really was. But it, it was. Aggressive because it highlighted how much all of these people who have lived here all their lives talk like us. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> like it was like, oh, I'm from Minneapolis, St. Paul. It should be like, oh, are ya? Don't you know? You're going to be illustrating all of it. <sighs> I trust ya. Yeah, we'll start hashing that out right away. No, oh, yeah, we won't let you down. Okay. Well, I mean, because they were all from Canada. And she either was also from Canada and putting on a Minnesota or, or accent. Really or really leaned into the really with method with yes, it. Yes, yes. Uh, but, but you can't be a travel writer because our magazine only... Talks about Minneapolis, St. Paul. I don't know. And her friend is a cartoonist. And yep. she gets him an interview. Yep. For reasons, even though this Christmas article I'm talking to you about should have been already released. Yep. Because it's December. Yep. You have to come up with some sort of... Christmas article. The it was, feature. It was the real The feature vague. article. The feature Christmas article. Yeah. Go. Rollback tape. Oh, so right. they've done their annual Christmas snowman building. Oh, because her mom is dead. Drink. Yep, drink. And the dad tells her a whole story he's never told her before. I was alone in Paris. I wished that I'd find the love of my life. And the next day, I saw her. And she was wearing this. If it hadn't been for this, I might never have seen her. In First Paris? time I met your mom, I saw her. Everyone was wearing black Paris, right? Oh, uh, and she was wearing red, and oh, and then we fell in love forever and ever. And this it's is a magic scarf. Here you go. Here's your heirloom. She puts it on a snowman outside. I was like, rude. Rude. True, but magic. Apparently magic. So then the, the snowman comes to life. Ooh, glittery eyes. And oh, the right, next, he had like, Murr, Murr. right, Ooh. the next morning, Cole shows up and he's not a snowman anymore. He's a real live flesh and blood four packed man. He wasn't really six packed, even though she drew them on. He looked kind of like a squat Eddie Cibrian. Okay, he was also giving me some like poor man Zach Efron vibes, or like poor man's Matt LeBlanc vibes. Okay, so yeah, we can blend them all together. But anyway, he shows up, hi, I have no backstory, and here's your scarf that I found, and do you want to go on a date? Okay, you're charming, yes. Weird. How about lunch? You want to go to lunch? Yes, I do, with you. Wow, uh, okay. So he proceeds to woo her yep. because... His magic fate was that he yeah. was going to lead her to true love, which in fact turned out to be her friend. Her best friend. He'd been under her nose the entire time, but she'd been looking for the perfect man that she hadn't realized that her perfect match was her friend. Oh, wait, can we talk about his apartment? Oh, it was weird. He had a vault for a door. Yep. Then he had like weird 60s era like diner salon, salon it was chairs. Salon chairs and then like cacti. Yeah. It, it was, was weird. It was weird. They spent a lot of time. I've noticed a lot of really ugly, weird apartments this year. I think it's just like, oh, we. That's what can we rent out for this cheap? Already set dressed? Yeah. I mean, the overarching plot is he's a snowman that becomes real teaches her that she's actually in love with her best friend and then they are happily ever after. Correct. But what I want to get into uh -huh. is what is going on with this snowman? I mean, is he from Santa? He seems he like seems to be from the heavens. Oh, it's really Does weird. Does he have feelings? He kind of creates a backstory for himself. Yeah. It seems to be fake. I mean, if she had gone to Paris with the snowman, would he have stayed a real boy? <laughs> That's what I don't know. <laughs> And isn't that sad for him? I felt bad. I was like, but what if he wanted to be alive? It is weird because he gives this whole backstory of how he's like an adventure travel, travel planner, writer. In only cold places. Yeah. There's a, a few like kind of fun snowman-y things, but that are not flushed out in a way right. that was like actually Oh, there's funny. carrots served to us for dinner. <gasps> Whoa. 
Well, and then, I mean, the, I think the best scene in the movie is they're all sitting around a campfire. Oh, my God. Roasting marshmallows, and he's like, oh, it's just so, it's just so hot. It's so hot in here. Oh, my God. He just, like, tears off his clothes, and it's like, oh, my six-pack. Oh, oh. And they're all like, boo. That was fun. It was very And then silly. he's really good at making snow... Snow... Sculptures. sculptures. He like makes like a fucking Venus oh to Milo god. or whatever. Because then they make Santa Shark. Oh, oh my god, Santa Shark! Santa Jaws! Oh, well, well, I mean, so we did a viewing party of this, and, well, it might not come out because we had trouble with the sink, but hopefully we made it work. He says no. They make... A shark with a Santa hat on. Yeah. And this really tickled our fans. Oh my god. Because like, then we ooh. were like bored of the movie and started writing our own script. Shark Santa. Santa shark. No, Santa shark. Santa shark. Santa Jaws. It's like Jaws, but at Christmas. It's at Christmas, so it's in it's like Australia, Australia or something. Yeah. Da 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 da. But then he just has to learn like the magic of Christmas and oh, then yeah. he won't start eating people. I don't know. It's we have great. to figure out the details, but is, it's gonna be great. I mean, is he like giving people presents? Oh. <gasps> is he Santa Shark? Oh, because it's Santa Shark. Maybe that's what he turns into. Is it like a horror movie where he wraps presents and gives them to people and it's like limbs of his victims? I mean, love that. Yes. There's a premeditation to the shark. <laughs> I like it. Or is it like a harbinger? It's like, ooh, here's a present. Oh no, that means you're gonna get eaten by the shark. Yeah, both things can happen. Sure. I like it. Yeah. So Santa Shark, Santa <laughs> Shark. I don't know what the theme song is. Somebody write a Santa Shark theme song. Yeah. Please. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, yeah. Oh, well, I had a question. Okay. So he, the snowman, yep. was born 18 years ago Uh huh. when they made him for the first oh, time. Oh, but he's like 35. Yeah. Come home every Christmas. You're from St. Paul? Yeah, I was born here. <laughs> what? And I was like, is that why he's acting like a child? I'm so excited right now. We're just basically building snowmen. Hey, dibs on that pile right there, okay? Well, but he That's was so shaped here. Weird. That's right. He said I was shaped here 18 years ago. I just had a lot of questions. I, he had this whole backstory and seemingly life outside of this town. So, where's the most amazing place you've ever skated? Ah, uh, Switzerland is incredible. Uh, don't even get me started on the Red Square in Moscow. But it's, it was a lie, or was it? A, or was it? Have, like, a is it his magical movie? soul that Matt, it, it, like, transfers know. from snow to snow? We is he no, a he did soul say, trapped like, in snow? I don't oh, know. Oh, now that's interesting. It's not explained. No. I felt bad for him. Yes. Yes, honestly. He seemed nice enough. Yeah. He never really did anything wrong. No, he was just like a really nice, cute snowman. Yeah. Oh my god, we didn't talk about the deer. Look, a deer! Oh, oh yeah, because he takes her on a... Romantic date. Like, carriage, horse-drawn yeah. carriage yeah. ride for lunch. Yeah. Like, at work. Like, In the middle have, of the fucking day. You don't have oh, all time, time for that. She has a Christmas article to write. Stop blowing off your work. It's already December. This should have been out weeks ago. But it's like, doot doot doot, we're on the street, we're in town. Oh, there's a tree. A deer! Oh, my God, we're in the middle of the woods. Nonsense. Dude, to do, we're back on the street. I was like, really weird. I'm sure that what? Ah, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Oh, look at that deer over there. It's not clearly copy on copyrighted footage. We weren't just in the street, and now we're in the woods. What? It's an ancient recipe. So then the Christmas article <laughs> turns into. Them writing about how this mysterious man is romancing her and yeah. the romantic things to do over Christmas in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Yeah. And he's going to draw funny cartoons to go along with it. Sure. Prince is dead. <laughs> all of these fucking... <laughs> Journal I'm a journalist. I think the journalism aspects all fall under the subcategory of going out of business. You know, I saw where the bones of this could have been a good movie. Like, I saw... You know, like not a good movie, but like a, a better movie. Sure. Over time, oh my, 13 going on 30. You know, like it could have been. Right. Um, more, oh boy, Andrew. Oh, that says a lot, you guys. So then the snowman yeah. surprises her with yeah. two tickets to Paris. Yeah. Now, does he have a passport? <laughs> the snowman. That's a great question. 
I don't know. I don't know. Where is he is getting he? money? Where did he Where come from? Yeah. This funding is this funding from Santa? Ah, great, Harry Ho. I don't <laughs> know, but he buys two places. Is it from to snow Paris. sculptures? I don't know. Now that would have been fun. I like the idea that he's like, oh, I'm an ice sculptor because I have no snow. He keeps carving the 12 days of Christmas for something Christmas. Sure, Christmas-y. romantic. Oh, what's going to be outside the yeah, window today? Yeah. Oh, it's this, and mm, I love you. I'm trying to woo you, yeah. That's fine. Cute. So she's like, okay, let's go uh-huh, to, Paris. to Paris. And I'm like, yes, go. Yeah. You can go. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. Uh, and the dad is like, go, come yeah. back. It's fine. And then, well, the snowman crosses the line where he's like, maybe you should just sell your child at home. Oh, right. This was so weird. He's like, oh, well, the, if the house is holding you back, you should just sell it. I talked to this real estate agent, the guy that made fun of you when you were a child. Right. In love with a snowman. Wouldn't he know? Wasn't he there? He was there. He was the snowman. Can't he hear it all? Maybe he wasn't the snowman yet, because they that was before she they built the, one together. together. So it's a, it's a part of both of them? Oh. Uh, never really met my parents. Oh. That must have been really hard. It's a thruple? Oh, is he bi? Yeah, is it a thruple? Love that. Love that twist on it. Let's all just go to Paris together. Yeah. They don't frown oh. on Mondage Toi. Ooh, love this. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no, instead, the best friend pours his heart out and is like, I've been in love with you all my life, yeah, and I never here's told the you. I've had that I just said Here's all this guilt and and like regret and all of the, just like barf onto you right before you're about to go to Paris for your dream. Yep, and she's like, I can't go. And then she doesn't go. Because you're a fake snowman, but also because I can't go. Did she ever find out he's a fake snowman? She doesn't. Mm -mm. She just chooses her best friend. Yeah. So they kiss and he returns to his snowman state and then, but then there's like a star or something that like floats up to the heavens. Right. As if he returns to Oh yeah, it was like, oh, then he went back to the universe. Is he an angel? Is it like the bishop's wife? I honestly, no. we never know. It was, was someone sent by her dead mother. We don't know. Oh, now that's now maybe to find her true love because of the magic Christmas scarf of I just love. Really could I don't know. A little more backstory. Yeah. Because I feel bad for him. Yes. He had to revert to being a snowman. And he was definitely the cutest. Oh yes. In the movie. Well, they both had terrible hair. Oh oh, none worse than Santa Girl. But yes, they had terrible hair. Oh boy, Santa Girl. Woof! So. We did a trailer reaction. Yes. If you haven't watched it, go watch it there. We did a viewing party. We were honestly fully ready to pull the trigger and be like, no, we're out. Let's like, just turn it off. People commented, they're like, you guys, I started it. It's garbage. Don't bother. Yeah. I mean, we knew it was going to be garbage. Yeah. But like, is it garbage, garbage, or is it like garbage? It was garbage. neither of those. It wasn't neither. But it wasn't unwatchable garbage. No, I didn't think so. I mean, it's very That's bad, bad. But it's like fascinatingly bad. <laughs> A little bit. Kind of. So she's the daughter of Santa Claus. Yeah. Barry Bostwick. Well, they really didn't do enough with him. He no. can really camp it up. No. If they didn't. No. This really didn't. So she's the daughter of Santa, dead mom, drink. Yep. And Santa's real, drink. And she is betrothed to the son of Jack Frost, Mm -hmm. but they've never met. And there's a mysterious contract that they've signed years ago when she was three days old, that they were destined to be together. To merge the family businesses of Jack Frost. Oh, we'll talk about him. What's the business of Jack Frost? I don't know. Winter? Ice delivery? Oh, we should have watched Jack Frost. No. Not the Michael Keaton, I'm your dad, I'm a snowman movie, which we could also watch. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Mystery Science Theater Jack Frost, which oh. is my favorite Mystery Science Theater episode. Wow, really? Oh, it's the most nonsense. Oh my God, I love it. It's, oh. Have mercy on me, oh rising golden sun. And you are? Wait till I'm done knitting these stockings. Otherwise I'll be punished severely. Oh, the world's thrown into chaos, earthquakes, floods, but that's fine. You knit your sock. We should probably watch it. Okay. It's great. Okay. Santa, Santa girl. girl. Yeah. <laughs> she's, um... She's a bitch. She's like a privileged asshole. Sure. You know, Entitled. They, they treat the elves like they're less than. Yeah. Big day. Let's get cracking. I hate you. 
Yeah, there's a lot of weird social dynamic politics of like the elves and others that was weird. What's his name? Pickles? Sparkles, sir. Pickles is head of accounting. Yeah, whatever. Listen, elves need to make toys as much as toys need to be made. It just wasn't like addressed in a thoughtful way. No. Or really addressed. It was just there. Yeah. To be prejudiced. Yeah, kind it was of. It just kind of weird. It was. She eats only sugar and sweets and candies and whatever, and it was all pretty bad for a while. And then over, by the end, it, like, didn't redeem itself. It, like, but it, it moved along, let's say. Yeah. She wants to go to college. Oh, wait, but well, we didn't talk about the tooth fairy. The, and the, fa the party at the tooth fairy in, in, in Dentalia? Dentalia? He has these, like, fake, it looked like a, <laughs> Wings. what are those called? Like, clip art. Like, yeah. that they just, like, stuck on his back. <laughs> they were really tiny. They need to, like, zoom it. You know, like, but then they would look even worse. I guess. And then he just sort of floated about that high <laughs> above like the ground. The feet, it was just, like, slowly. Oh, my God, it was so bad. It was like a close-up of the feet, it was so stupid. And then he floated over because <laughs> the, his mom, the tooth fairy, wants to marry Santa, and he's like, no, ma'am. Oh, right, right, right. He was like, maybe we can merge these businesses. We, you know, so much merging. We have a bunch of, of wings. holiday businesses. It was, it was so weird. Oh, yeah, our, our fairies can deliver your presents. Yeah, and then you can give us money for teeth. Because the price of teeth have gone up. It was a lot going on, but he's like, no, I, you're gross. Tooth fairy people, yeah. you're, you're crazy. I'm getting you. out of here, I don't like you. I'm gonna walk away from you now, but it's only because I don't like you or what you have to say. Um, daughter, what's wrong? Oh, you got admitted to college? Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll let you go. I mean, this is, you know. Right, he's like, you can go for one semester, but right. then you have to come back for Christmas and marry a man you've never met, you're yep. 18. Yep. It was just so bizarre. It was a weird plot point for a movie in this day and age. Well, it's just well, like, he's the, in this, in this scenario, Santa's the villain. Well, Jack Frost is definitely the villain, but they're Santa's both, also a villain. villains. Yeah, they're like co-conspirator villains. Everyone's a villain. Yeah. Also, it was weird. We noticed all of the phones and technology yeah. was a real good... And we're the like, jeans. The jeans. Dumpy, chunky, <laughs> acid-washed, like chrome hearts. Jeans. Yeah, real 2006 7. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's going on here? All we can guess is that this movie was made a long time ago and then finally released now. I think it was made, nothing ever happened with it. They bought it and were like, you know what? We need Netflix is buying Christmas, Christmas movie. movies, let's sell it to them. That's my guess. Yeah. So then she goes to college and Draco Malfoy shows up. It's a Harry Potter thing hair. The hair. Anyway, so he shows up and he's Swiss. And terrible. Well, crazy coincidence. So am I. May I escort you? Well, yes, he's a bad actor, but he's like <laughs> vaguely Swiss. They make some sort of comment like, oh, I was in a Swiss boarding school. Or, oh, yes, I was at a Swiss boarding school. I mean, I'm doing too much. I'm sorry. But it came and went. I don't yeah. know what that choice was. No. Like Santa Claus? Nope. Nah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. No relation. You ready for classes to start? Because he, I don't think he seems to be actually Swiss. No, I think he was trying to pretend like she was pretending. I think he was trying to pretend oh, like, oh, I'm this, is my, back, this is my oh. backstory. I'm Swiss. That's why I look so blonde and cold. I don't know. See, now, if that had actually come across, that's kind of fun. Sure. And if we know that he's faking it, right. and that's why it's bad. And he's like, oh, boy, this accent is really not doing good. It's a little shaky. <laughs> right, yeah. That's fun. That's character building. That's mm. something to endear us to this person. Right, because in the end, we're sort of supposed to be redeemed by him, where he also was just being forced to do what his father... Oh my god, can we talk about his father? Oh my god. Every time he should... Oh! Yeah. Oh! <gasps> no, we have an agreement. He had greasy lips. Oh my god, they were so weird. They, they put the glittery, shiny... Silver. Yeah, silver lipstick. But it was never quite on all the way. No, because it would... Well, everyone had dry lips. Lots so the makeup would be like cakey dark. and... Dark. Matte lipstick. Yeah, yeah. It was lots of 2006 ish, bold, yes. I guess. Bold choices yeah. for 2006. Yeah. Oh my god, Jack Frost, absolutely terrifying. Every time he showed up. Every. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Good evening. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I guess that was the point, but it was terrifying in the not the way that they wanted. No, it was terrifying because it looked so bad. It looked so bad. Ah! <laughs> it was such nice. Remember when he had a cape? <laughs> he runs away with the. Ooh. Jack Frost? Woo! I can't. 
cackled. Oh, the lead guy from The Magician shows up. No, he just had the same hair. Um, <laughs> Who's gonna be some real Travis Birkenstock, like, yeah. You know, Again, 2006, the long hair with the shape. With the shape, yep. You know, it was very. Man bun. Man, that. Yeah. It was very that. But he doesn't have the man bun until one scene where he actually looked cute and they took it out again. Ugh, it was infuriating. This was boring. Sometimes infuriating, sometimes boring, and sometimes kind of cute. The but... high concept of Santa's daughter goes to college, hijinks elves, Jack Frost, was enough to like keep me watching. Sure. But it was very bad. It was very bad. Jack Frost Jr. is still romancing her. They, they go to a prom. And they go to like a winter college. formal in college, which was weird. Oh my god. And they get in a whole fight. Fight. They're, so they're, the two boys are fighting over her, and the band in the background is just like, <laughs> yeah. but like it doesn't match the like ambiance of what's happening <laughs> at all. Plot twist. You're the guy? I'm the guy that'll be Cassie's husband. You've been behind this whole thing, man. You set me up. But yeah, so anyway, so then she's like, oh, you lied to me. Mm, I don't know. Bye. And then she decides to marry Jack Frost's son. Then Santa Claus is like, oh, but she really loves him. Let me go talk to him because he's in pre-law. I'll have him right. find a like loophole in the second contract. Right, thoughts because... Who cares? It never made sense that he was making her marry him anyway. We still know. That's the enraging part. Cut all. I have to do this for my family. I have to do this for my family's safety and legacy and whatever. We never know why they had to get married. Never find out about the contract. There was no thing of like, oh, well, we needed the Jack Frost family because they are the only ones that have snow. Smatri, ne zamerzai. Hey, he can make the film reverse. They needed Jack Frost to create snow so that the sleigh would work, except the sleigh was a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, we're oh, not sure. I mean, it was just a photograph that slowly moved away from the camera. This baby here has got uh, 650 reindeer under the hood. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. So, <laughs> they break up the wedding. She goes back to college. Yeah, Santa still... decides to go off his diet because a weird lady shows up with cookies and is like, hey. <laughs> Don't be silly. You could stand to put on a few pounds. I'll take a cookie. I'm already dressed like your wife. Like, it was weird. It's really weird. He's like, okay, never mind. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I gotta fill out this suit and get fat again. It was like, what's going on? It was so weird. I think it was supposed to imply that like the joy was back in Santa because now he was like, oh, our okay. family can keep doing this and we got this. Because everyone on the diet is miserable. I yeah, sure. It was like weird politics. Like she was eating so much sugar that yeah. she would have diabetes. Right. So I was just like concerned. Like, right. Was just, her genetic makeup or is she human or not? I yeah. don't know. I, I mean, does the sugar fuel her as a magical, mystical being that lives in the other world? I don't know. But it just seemed unhealthy. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, I guess I'll eat salad because I'm depressed now. It was weird. But it was just plain romaine, romaine lettuce. lettuce. It was like nothing. It was just romaine lettuce. At least give her some like veggie stew or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I mean, yes, it was garbage. It wasn't fully unwatchable, but it no. wasn't good. No, it was more interesting yes. than a lot, a of, lot of the other ones because the other ones are so pat. Right. But it, it was very bad. It was very bad, but at least this one shook it up. It was like, ooh, magic. Ooh, weird things. <sighs> What's the matter? Am I unbearable? So anyway, okay, moving on. So, I have a retraction. Oh. In part one, I said that I don't think that Hallmark made any Hanukkah movies. I was wrong. Just straight Hanukkah? Hanukkah well, Christmas. Well, Hanukkah Christmas. Okay. I was on Twitter or whatever and I saw someone posted this article about like the Hallmark Hanukkah movies and how terrible they were. And I was like, oh, tell me more. I didn't know they existed. I read about the two Hallmark ones that came out this year. Two Hallmark Hanukkah movies. Kind of impressed. Hey. But apparently they're garbage and they're offensive. Well, you watched one. Well, no. I watched the Lifetime oh. one that they also mentioned called Mistletoe and Menorahs. Oh, boy. I did see the clip that someone posted on Twitter yeah. where she says, I'm good at holiday. <laughs> I mean, I am super good at holiday. I will say this. This movie started off real garbage, hated it, slow, boring. I was like, fuck you, movie. This is offensive. And by the end, oh no, I kind of liked it. Oh no. So what's it about? There's, of course, an overachieving work woman. Of course. Who is a passionate 
toy inventor okay slash marketing salesperson for a company that makes toys and also maybe other things exclusively christmas toys no but if only well no obviously not oh well, right 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 holiday toys she's good at holiday i am good at holiday i mean i am super good at holiday so of course she wants the promotion right and she's telling her shitty fiance this and then she shows up to the, the meeting, she nails it, right? She has a great best friend assistant who should be more than an assistant, but she doesn't have the guts to go for the promotion. Anyway, whatever. She nails the meeting. I forget, I'm gonna say Joel Schmoerstein. Insert generic Jewish name here. David Saperstein. I don't know. Saul Zimmerman. <laughs> Very that. Jessica Azaria. Ira Stevenberg. Saul Zimmerstein. She nails David <laughs> Browanski. Yep, like yeah. that. So she nails the meeting with him. And you know, he's like she's like, oh well, you seem to be really into the holiday spirit. And she's like, yeah, I'm an expert at the holidays. And at holiday. Like, and I'm an expert at holiday. I mean, I am super good at holiday. <laughs> and like, is he like, what about Hanukkah? No, so he says, oh, great, then you'll have to come to my party on the 24th. And the whole thing was like, he was like, oh, you really nailed this character's name that I don't remember. What ideas do you have? And she said, oh, well, we thought that would be for a different meeting. He's like, okay, fine. Why don't you pitch it to me at this holiday party or whatever? Who has a holiday party on Christmas Eve? Like, fuck you. Mm, well, it was also the eighth night of Hanukkah. But who has a work Hanukkah party on the eighth night of Hanukkah? Nobody. That's rude. That's rude. Yeah. So she's talking to her friend. What do you mean? Hanukkah party? What? I thought that it was a Christmas party. I don't know anything about Hanukkah. <laughs> Hanukkah? <laughs> All I know is about holiday. I mean, I am super good at holiday. So her, her assistant friend who had been like ogling the, her son's teacher was like, Oh, well, he's Jewish. I'll ask him to teach you about Hanukkah. You have a Jewish friend, right? Right? I mean, this was, it was, like, this was all the part where I was just like, well, this is offensive, you guys. This is rude. Oh, she knows no one. She knows nothing of Jewish culture as, like, an entire, what? Nonsense. But okay, fine. Whatever. Fuck you. But fine. I'll, like, introduce you and he can help you learn Hanukkah. So, the, the, this is where it starts to get good, when the guy shows up, because it turns out he was actually pretty charming. Oh, so, not the boss Jewish guy, but the teacher Jewish guy is her love interest? The teacher Jewish guy is the love interest. What about her assistant? Oh. So you said she was hot for him. She was hot for him, but it did tough luck for her. Tough, 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 tough for her. <laughs> tough nubbins, I don't know. Tough Is that a character from Cats? <laughs> tough nubbins is the jellico cat. The Jewish delicate. You've got to help me, little kitty. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do with this movie. Just scamper away from it. How are ya? He has a girlfriend, a Jewish teacher, who is Christian. <gasps> and he has to impress her father for Christmas, but knows nothing of Christmas. <gasps> So he's going to teach her about Hanukkah and she's going to teach him about Christmas. Turns out they're a lot more similar than we thought. You know, it was that kind of nonsense. Wait, what do you have to know about Christmas, really? Like, I feel like there's a lot of rules for Hanukkah, but well, like... I mean, I don't know if there really are, but like, sure. I mean, there's a... Well, so she teaches him like... Things. It was like, oh, here, we're going to decorate a Christmas tree. But like, that's common knowledge. I mean, honestly, right? But also, there's not that much that's vague about Hanukkah. Sure. I could tell you in the next five minutes about, oh, you light well, a candle you light, here's the history. She t he tells her the whole history. So it's a whole, like, they fall in love while they teach each other about the different what about holidays. What girlfriend? Turns out, well, she's a bitch. Okay, great. The boyfriend sucks. He's terrible. He only cares about basketball, and he's a stockbroker, and he gives her the idea of having a stockbroker action figure as the toy that she pitches. It's a horrible idea. Thank God that the the sleuth spy in the company takes the idea and runs to a rival company to pitch to the and toy maker. It's a horrible failure. And it was a horrible failure at the Hanukkah party where she shows up and she knows how to say Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. She lights all the candles. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech she made homemade serfgani donuts, which are jelly-filled donuts, which are delicious. Just like my safta used to make in Israel. 
Oh, oh she's really dedicated. I really didn't talk about this though, and I have to because as a cook, it really pained me. And as you know, you've had my latkes. Oh, so good. She made these latkes mm. that looked like a fucking dead rodent. I don't even know what she did. They were like these... Were they supposed to be good? They were supposed... Oh, okay. she like learned how to make lot. They were like... Like latkes don't travel well. No, no, she made them for herself as dinner. Oh. It was just like, I'm like, going to now... she like brought them to the party. No, 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 no. no. no she made the, the jelly donuts for the party. No, this was just like, I'm going to now practice my latke making that I never use. And eat latkes... She just has these four, like, giant turds of a oh, potato pan pancake. This sounds bad. It, the movie was, it was charming. Okay, okay. It did somehow manage to be charming. I think mostly because he was cute. There was something kind of nice, and this is going to sound bad, but to have the representation. Yeah, of course. This you know? sound bad. So, like, it, was, it was nice. It was like, oh, this is more interesting. We're talking about different stuff. Oh, I know those things. So, they're at this holiday party where she has no idea for a toy to pitch him because the other guy stole the stockbroker congressman in educational toy action figures. Anyway, so instead, she gets inspired by her Jewish boyfriend now to create a toy of the, oh no, I'm such a bad Jew. I'm going back to the episode of Friends where Ross explains Hanukkah to his son as a Hanukkah armadillo. Um. I'm the holiday armadillo. <laughs> It's not the Mennonites? No, but it's similar, and I can't remember it, and I feel like a horrible Jew. Anyway. See? Judaism is complicated! It's probably, oh my god, I forgot about the best part of the movie! Oh, his bubby runs a little Jewish store called Little Mitzvahs. Oh. And it's like, you know, that's where like they get a menorah and whatever, all nonsense. But um, she's great. The Maccabees! The Maccabees! Thank you, Jesus. Years and years ago, there were these people called the Maccabees. Why do I know that? It's from Friends. <laughs> the Maccabees! It's from Friends. Yeah, so bringing it back, they're at the Hanukkah party. Also, not a Hanukkah party, it's a Christmas party because his wife is Christian. So it was like... There's it, a lot of bending over of backwards of... Like, I have to know everything about your, rather than like just talk to you and, and learn. learn. I just feel like it's separate, and so having like a party where you feel like you had to like learn, learn a, different a different religion language is like weird. weird. Yeah. That's what I'm saying is like, yeah. it seems weird. But it, this was in the theme of the, I have to display my holiday spirit. Of course. In order to get the job yeah. category of film. Of course. Of course. But so anyway, so she's at this holiday party and her idea has been stolen, she has to pitch, and thank God her boyfriend reminds her, oh, well, I never really loved Dreidel, but I used to play this made-up game that I made called the Maccabees, where I would, like, pretend to be, I would have, like, a Maccabee, because there were never any Jewish toys for us to play at Hanukkah. And what is a Maccabee? It was, like, a, a race, I guess, of people. Oh, so it was, like, an action figure. So yes. you were describing it as, I didn't... Yes. Like, oh, I didn't want a dreidel, so oh, I played, played a Maccabee. No, 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 like he made like an, a Maccabee action figure or whatever. Maccabees versus the Greeks. What did you just say? Maccabees versus the Greeks. I had to play make-believe since they didn't actually have toys for it. So then that's her pitch, and of course she gets it, and they love it, and they're going to release it before Passover. But it was cute. <laughs> okay. It was cute. Do it we think cute. that the Maccabee action figure sold well? No. No. <laughs> I don't think it did. And not just the Maccabees, but an entire biblical-themed action figure toy line. David the King. Yes, Ruth and Esther, everyone. What does it say when you push it? <laughs> when you pull it straight? I, I think I think it was like a kind of like a board game. You know, it's like oh, there's a it's line because the, they're like a you know. So it's like educational. Yes, that was the that was part of it. It was oh, educational, okay. but also a game where it's like ooh, here are these little figurines that are part of it. Where it's like ooh, are the Maccabees. Oh, the light lasted eight nights. You know, I don't know. So weirdly enough, I watched two separate Dolly Parton Christmas movies. <gasps> One of them was on Amazon Prime. Oh. And it was called... I didn't even think... I always forget to go to Amazon Prime. I also do, but I was watching Dynasty. Oh, yes. And Murder, She Wrote. Of course. Of course. It oh. popped up, and it's called Unlikely Angel. Oh. And it's Dolly Parton on the cover, and she's like, 
Yeah. And Love she's got it. angel wings and she's like, yeah. Dolly Parton movies are weird. I don't know how many Dolly Parton movies you've seen. Not many. Um, Nine to five. There's a piousness because yes. she's Dolly, yes. right? She's Christian. Yes. But she's also a real dirty whore at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Like, so there's this real dichotomy where the movie's really G rated, but she's like constantly trying to get fucked. Oh. And it's like weird. But anyway, unlikely angel. It's basically Sound of Music. Oh. Except she's a ghost. Oh. So she's a country music star and she's really trying to get somewhere, but her boyfriend's cheating on her. So she drives, uh, you know, on the road to get, you know, I'm leaving. And In Nazi Germany? Oh, no, no, no. Just like oh. the whole baby. So I'll get there. I'll get there. Oh, okay. There. Burr, I'm driving along the road. A deer! Wow! <laughs> Dead. Oh! <gasps> Shows up at the gates and Roddy McDowell as St. Peter. So he's in like a white gown, of course, and she's in a real corseted white outfit. Tits out for the boys. Tits out. And she's like, well, what am I doing here? And they have a whole conversation about how she wasn't quite good enough to get into <gasps> heaven. And he's like, so I'm going to send you on a mission down to back to earth. And you can't, but you can't tell anyone that you're a sure. ghost because then whatever. Yeah, you're right. Or you're an angel. I guess she's an angel. Like an angel. Ghost. Right. So she plops down and literally she like falls into their lawn. Also get Al to call me ASAP. <laughs> oh God. She's like, woo! And she's wearing like, she makes a sound of music joke. She's like, what am I, Maria? She's got like a weird Heidi outfit on, it's weird. Oh and tits out, always. All I need is a guitar and I'll be ready for the sound of music. Very funny. Turns out she's gonna teach them, you know, bring the family together, teach them about the, Chris the magic of Christmas because their mom died drink. And the dad's a workaholic and so he's never around and the kids are raising themselves. She, you know, teaches the magic of Christmas, sure. you know, and Ryan McDowell keeps showing up as... To check in. To check in, because she's just so horny. Oh my god. All right, all right, I get the message. The Bible, like, falls off a shelf and she's like, I hear ya, all right, I'll stop. So anyway, she learns to love them and then she gets to sing, um... Oh, because she, she wrote the song, Unlikely Angel. Makes it into heaven because they learn about Christmas. Oh, right, and then at some point she's having like a sexy dream about the dad. Oh and she's like, mm, they were like gonna make out or they're starting to make out. And all of a sudden you start hearing like, wow, wow, wow. Like fire the whole alarm. room is like shaking the fire alarm and like it's like stop burp, burp, burp. and then it's like a dream and she wakes up and she's like oh and the dad comes in are you okay oh it was just my alarm because she was having a sexy dream sure you can't have that sex is not an okay thing it was weird but the tits were out it's a dichotomy what does that mean what is that supposed to be telling me it's okay to feel sexual but you have to keep it all inside because you can't act on it I think for this case, it was supposed to be funny. Right. And it, you know. Right. Wasn't. But. But, okay, the best part. Okay. So it's Christmas miracle. We love Christmas now. We're a family. We have a new mom. And they pan up the Christmas tree and the angel topper on, on top is of it. Dolly Parton? It's Dolly Parton. I mean, it's not I, like literally but her, like, but it's like. It looks and, like and, and I'm like, can we add this to our topper twink, or twink topper and get a Dolly yes. Parton as an angel? Oh my God. Dolly Parton as an angel, 3D printed, yes. Yes. Tits out. Tits out for the boys. And then it keeps panning up and she's part of the angel choir and she's conducting the angel choir in heaven. Oh, love it. It was silly. That is silly. Cute enough. A different way. At different least it's way. different. Dolly's yeah. there. She sings sure. a couple songs. It's fun. Great. What was the other one? So that one was like old. It was like from the 90s. Oh. Way. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. But there was one on Hallmark from this year called Christmas in Dollywood. I thought I saw that last year. Maybe it was last year, but it's like recent. Okay. It might have, I think it was this year. I think I saw it last year and I think we talked about it. Yeah. Do they go to Dollywood with her there daughter? Was Christmas in Graceland. <gasps> Graceland! Last year. Yeah. Next, Christmas in Paisley Park is next. 
Sure. Christmas in Dollywood, starring Danica McKellar. So, you know, 90s TV star Drake, workaholic mom, single mom, lives in the city. She used to be from Tennessee, doesn't have an accent. She has a party planning business. Drake, and, that's definitely on the new list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes back to plan the big 30th anniversary, 50th, 30th, 30th? Anniversary of Dollywood something. This year is the 30th anniversary of Smoky Mountain Christmas at Dollywood. She goes back and the guy who's trying to be the general manager of Dollywood and mm -hmm. her fall in love. They make hot cocoa. There's lots of talk of my hot cocoa. Oh my god. Oh right. So she it starts and she's in New York, big city party planner, and they're doing some sort of nutcracker runway oh. show, fashion party. Well, that's weird. It was it's weird, I'll be honest. Sure, I don't know. Christmas. So then she gets home to her daughter. And she opens the door, every single light and twinkle light is on in the room. You're awake? <laughs> You're still awake! <clears throat> but it's this whole thing about how she like makes up specific stories about her daughter, like bedtime stories for her daughter. Gotcha. And we find out she was going to be a writer, but she mm, gave up on it. So creative, and said she does party planning, which is also But she's really good at it, because she's really good at planning, and she's a typical. Sure. A type? She's an A type. Well, A typical, huh? That's uh, that's funny. Hmm. A typical and A typical. So we find out she was a writer. You know, she gave up on it, but now that she's back in her hometown, and it's like a tie-in to the Imagination Library, which is Dolly's like, oh, foundation okay. for literacy. I love it. Well, that's so cute. It's, it's like simultaneously like. I see what you did there, but also like, that's great. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah. And so the guy who's going up for the general manager job and her, of course, then have to plan this 30 year anniversary oh. together. Oh, okay, thank God she knows how to event plan. But heads because oh. she's atypical and he's mm. atypical. I don't know. Um, she's atypical yeah. and he's atypical. Yeah, sure. There you go. So she decides that the, the parade of many colors, which is, just the Electrical Light Parade with much more rainbows Ooh. at Dolly World, which you may want to attend. Yeah, I mean, yes. She is so excited because they keep alluding that Dolly's around. Oh, Dolly's Ooh. here. There's all these like cardboard cutouts of Dolly. The only question is, when do I get to meet Dolly? And it's like, oh, you just missed Dolly. She was just here. It's like the final seasons of the X-Files when like, oh, Mulder was just oh. here. You just missed him. <laughs> He's still part of the show. So then they finally meet and she's like, we're best friends, I love you. Oh my God, you should write books, blah. Like the whole thing, cause it's Dolly. I mean, sure, that, of course, yeah. That is accurate. Yes. Oh, can't be all that bad. <laughs> Even a bad haircut can be fixed. And she decides she's gonna leave her life in New York and come back to Tennessee and her parents can help with the babysitting and she's gonna fall in love with him and. What is she gonna do, event planning there? There was talk. Story writing. There was talk of event planning, but it ends with, and this was actually really cute. It's the next Christmas. Mm -hmm. They're under the tree. Cute. Her and the guy. Yeah. And they're like, "Here's this present for you." And what's this? It's oh her God. book. It's her book. What? Why do I need a copy of my own book? Opens up part of the Imagination Library. Like it was cute. That is cute. That's yeah. sweet. It was sweet. Yeah. Dolly was there. It was cute. That sounds. Lovely. Well, I think that's all that we have. Oh, I, can't, I don't know if I can help it. Yeah, but I mean, I can't keep them all together anymore. It's a crazy snow globe of hot chocolate and snowball fights and snowmen and magic and Decorating Christmas and, and planning of uh, menorahs parties. and I can't anymore. So, cheers. Merry Christmas. And the Maccabees! The Maccabees. The Maccabees. Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah, happy holiday. I don't think I've ever gotten to do a spit take before. <laughs> I mean, I am super good at holiday. 